Hello from JFK Airport, where today we are reviewing the Chase Sapphire Lounge by the club. After having already spent some time in American Express and Turin lounges, I'm really excited to see how the experience compares to being at one of the Sapphire lounges. Of the three major credit card companies that offer airport lounges, those being American Express, Capital One, and Chase, Chase is the newest to have joined the airport lounge network. The Chase Sapphire Lounge is located in JFK's Terminal 4, post security, right next to the American Express and Turin lounge. The Sapphire Lounge takes up the same space of the former Etihad Lounge. Cardholders with the Chase Sapphire Reserve or JP Morgan Reserve card can access the lounge for free and bring up to two complimentary guests. However, the Ritz-Carlton credit card allows for unlimited guest access in addition to the main cardholder. A Priority Pass membership will get you to the Sapphire Lounge once per calendar year. Unlike other Sapphire lounges, the one in JFK is pretty unique because it's made in partnership with Etihad Airways, so an Etihad Premium Cabin ticket can actually get you into this lounge. Etihad first and business class passengers won't have to wait for space to open up if the lounge is overcrowded. I still find it quite interesting, however, that Chase Points don't transfer to Etihad even though they partnered for the lounges. Upon entering the Sapphire lounge, you'll notice the amazing detail that Chase has put in. From the artwork on the walls to the furniture in the lounge, this is truly a modern space. The design finishes in the lounge are quite elegant, with a lot of natural wood, velvety soft textures, brassy gold accents, and pops of vibrant color. The space feels well put together like someone's nicely decorated living room, and I wish more lounges shot for this look. The focal point of the lounge is the flagship bar, with plenty of table space and comfortable bar seats. Behind the bar is a large seating area with plenty of table space, and it's possible to have food ordered directly to your seat. There are plenty of seats to choose from, from plush couches to chairs that swivel. The Sapphire Lounge offers sweeping views of Terminal 4's gates here at JFK. The artwork in the lounge is supplied from the J.P. Morgan artwork collection. I don't know that much about art, but I can say that it was very beautiful. The highlight of Sapphire Lounges is the buffet selection. Remember when all of us thought when American Express and Turian Lounges offered the peak of airport lounge food? Well, not so much anymore. At Sapphire Lounges, the food is individually plated and served as small bites. I highly recommend the burrata and the cauliflower curry, both are on point. There is also a selection of bread to accompany your dishes. The lounge offers drip coffee, supplied from Joe's Coffee, a local New York-based company. There are also plenty of condiments to add in your coffee. Towards the left section of the counter are some dessert small bites, such as chocolate chip cookies, brownie squares, and lemon squares, as well as biscotti. If that's not enough to impress you, you can order signature dishes directly to your table, such as the Asian-inspired Sapphire Noodles or Sapphire Burger. Table service is always a real treat. At the bar, there's a variety of beverages to choose from, such as locally inspired cocktails to signature cocktails, and you can also order spirits and wines. The bartenders in the Sapphire Lounge are quite friendly, and you can order any of the cocktails non-alcoholic as well. I opted for the non-alcoholic version of the Sapphire Cocktail, which tasted great. Each corner of the lounge feels well lit with plenty of light. To the left of the bar is a second seating area, which feels more exclusive and secluded compared to the main seating area that's located near the bar. Don't you wish more airport lounges had a fireplace like this? I mean, this one feels very cozy. There's also a single work-style cubicle, which is rather not that private. Small touches such as having a fireplace and seating for four people with a central table just make the space feel more like a living room in a comfortable house. The bathrooms in the Sapphire Lounge are relatively clean and modern, and I personally love the tiled walls that Chase opted for. It truly reflects the Etihad colors. The bathrooms are stocked with Apotheke Skincare Products, which is a Brooklyn-based brand. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use them, but you can also reserve one of the shower suites. Reflection rooms are something that's not found in every Sapphire Lounge, as this space is made as a partnership between Chase and Etihad. The prayer rooms are meant to cater towards Etihad travelers. Overall, I must say that I'm very impressed with the Sapphire Lounge at JFK Airport, and I think that this is my favorite credit card lounge. The food, seating, and ambiance that Chase has opted for in the Sapphire Lounge really impressed me, so this is definitely one that's worth going out of your way for if you have the Sapphire Reserve.